Welcome to this help video about Dynamics CRM connectivity inside Centerprise Data Integrator. In this video, we are going to learn in details how Centerprise treats Dynamics CRM connector, how you can make connections to Microsoft Dynamics CRM online or on-premise versions, how you can use the data from Microsoft Dynamics CRM as a source, or how you can put data into it. Let's go ahead and start with a simple data flow and see how the data from inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM can be used as source data for your data integration flow. So if I start a new data flow, I'm presented with the blank screen. From the toolbox, I will go and uh, pick a source that is of type database, table source, and drag and drop onto the designer. And once it is there, I go to the properties of the box and inside the properties I'm presented with this designer um, wizard where in each step it is going to ask me some questions about my source. In the very first uh, page it is asking about the connection and from the data provider combo box I will pick Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Once I choose it it is asking me what is my installation type so depending on if I'm connecting to an online version I'll pick online Otherwise, I will go to on-premise. So say I'm connecting to online version, I will provide all the details about my server. And uh, in all the cases, it is going to be dev.crm.dynamics.com. Then I'll put my username and password and leave the partner as crm.dynamics.com and uh, give the friendly name of my organization inside CRM account that you can find from your CRM account and uh, put it here such as uh, say m for my company's name is Astera I'll just type Astera here and after putting username and password I can test the connection I already have a connection that was used recently and it appears in this combo I will use that connection here and you can see here it has uh, pre-filled everything it has my username password policy partner friendly name I click on test connection and it is establishing a connection to the online version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM and as you can see here the test completed successfully that means connection was established I can go to the next step and in the next step it will show me all the entities inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM as tables so I can pick any of these say for example I want to read from accounts I'll pick accounts as source leave everything by default whatever is there go to next step and the next step it shows me the layout that means it shows me all the attributes of account entity and the details of that you can see here these are the different entities their names the column names their DB types and so on and so forth I click on OK and now my source is ready for, uh, for as a data source you can see here all my attributes for account if I want at this point of time I can preview the data right inside the application I click on preview data here in the right in the context menu and uh, in this window at the bottom it is uh, going to the dynamic CRM and getting the data from the server and it will show me the data here you can see here this is my data from my server So that's how you can create a source. Now you have the source and say you have to do any kind of processing. You can use any of the maps or transformations and uh, you can send that to any destination. So say for example, I want to take this data and I want to put that into a SQL Server destination. So in that case, I will take a, a database destination and drag and drop here. And again, same thing, I go to the properties by right click and uh, specify connection I'll leave it by default that is SQL Server or maybe I can use a recently used connection for the SQL Server let's use this one test connection it is successfully tested I move to the next page now by clicking on the next button and uh, I can specify a new table name that I want to create let's call it uh, dbo.crm accounts and uh, click on OK now I have my destination ready and uh, 
I can do the mapping here so I can go to the input and I can uh, do any kind of maps and that's how I can create my flow so that's how you can use the dynamic CRM entity as a source now let's look at the the other way around when I want to write into Microsoft Dynamics CRM as destination so let's go ahead and create a new data flow and uh, again a blank slide and in this case my destination is going to be Microsoft Dynamics CRM so I will take database table destination drag and drop onto the designer and again I go to the properties and I'll use one of the existing connections that is uh, dynamic CRM test the connection and go to the next step and in this case say I want to write into some other entity and in this case let's pick I want to write into the contact entity so I'm importing some data into contact so I pick this and uh, I'm going to insert into it you can pick any other options if you want to update or delete and all that I go to the next page and it shows me again all the attributes of uh, contact and uh, you can see here with the data types for each of the entities are given uh, one thing to notice here is you can see here in the data types we have uh, lookups and whenever you have any lookup it is going to use that lookup uh, to insert the value using the lookup and uh, you can see here the, in the next column we have the lookup entity as well and this is the our best guess that this is the lookup you're going to be using for this entity for example if you want to write into uh, the price level default price level ID uh, the lookup we're going to use is the price level and similarly if you're if you're going to write into parent customer ID your lookup is account and so on and so forth so if you scroll it you can see here a bunch of uh, lookup num um, lookup uh, names are given uh, and but this is our best guess if it is not right uh, you can manually override it and change it and it is it is going to use the other lookup and in that case you have to just map the ID and will take uh, all already whatever is specified in that lookup and put that value inside your destination so let's go ahead and uh, close it now we have our destination available and if you go and expand this input insert and these are the ports accepting the maps and uh, from the source side you can take anything say for example my source is going to be a, a SQL Server database table I go to the source and uh, take a table source drag and drop go to the properties and again specify the connection test the connection and uh, pick my source table say I want to pick the accounts so I have my accounts here and I can take uh, whatever I want to, to uh, map I can drag and drop and put into these um, it supports uh, sorting too so if you want you can sort it alphabetically so that your uh, items are sorted and uh, you can see here this, it is sorted alphabetically now so say for example my ID goes into account ID I can do that my uh, other any other name say, say description I want to put into description here uh, we'll go to the description in destination you can see at the top and take this drag and drop at the top of description and you can see how the map is created so that's how you're creating the map and telling the application that what field from the source is going to what field into destination so that's how you'll be using um, dynamic CRM as a destination and of course uh, you can use any kind of maps or transformations or any kind of items from the toolbox you can use inside the flow so these two samples I showed to you very simple samples I have uh, one complex sample already open that I'm going to share with you and uh, in this case I'm taking data from a contacts from Salesforce account and uh, moving that into Microsoft Dynamics CRM you can see here the mapping is already done and uh, these items are going into other items into contact and I have done some lookups in between uh, before writing them into a destination and uh, I've done some special maps these are these are special maps constant value map and this is a SQL lookup map um, so these maps I have done uh, to do some kind of transformation before I put the data into the destination also I have attached a log 
at the end and uh, this log is uh, uh, recording any kind of uh, uh, errors any kind of uh, thing that goes wrong with this entire transformation so this is a fairly complicated uh, transfer in involving Microsoft Dynamics CRM as a destination so, so far we have seen using Microsoft Dynamics CRM as a source or a destination uh, however application comes with uh, a full database browsing capability where we treat Microsoft Dynamics CRM as any other uh, data source and let's have a look at that feature when we go to the database browser where you can reach from view and uh, the item is data source browser if you click on that this window will be highlighted here the top left corner you can see here add database server icon if you click on this it will present you with the same database connection screen here you can pick your connection and I'm going to use the same dynamic CRM connection test it and uh, click on OK and as a result what happens that it shows me all the tables and all the views for Microsoft Dynamics CRM and tables are basically all the entities inside Dynamics CRM such as the accounts and uh, contacts and uh, and uh, email and goal and so on and so forth so all the entities from inside Dynamics CRM are shown to you as tables and you can expand these nodes you can see all the columns their data types you can see the keys you can see everything uh, that is uh, related to that entity underneath uh, this node uh, if you right click on this node you can see options such as you can display records display table schema and so on and so forth so by click on this button basically you are going to run a query you can see here in the this query window it has opened this query and it has created the query for you and it is running the query at the bottom you can see here it has run the query on with this account and all the information it has found 515 records and it is displaying all the records in this query window so basically you're running a simple SQL query and uh, you're getting all the results from the server so in a way, Enterprise shields you from all the API calls to the web service and all that and presents you with a unified interface where you're treating your, uh, your uh, CRM data uh, as if it is stored in a SQL server and you're, you're running your transit SQL statements. Uh, in this case, we saw the select statement. You can have any kind of uh, complex statements such as you can have update statements, you can have delete statements, you can have... Uh, uh, fairly complicated uh, select statements with the nested queries you can do anything and it will translate this uh, SQL into the API calls um, to the web service and that will uh, produce the desired results for you this concludes this help video thanks for watching this video